Hello there. Thanks for joining me. Um, this is just a quick update on what I'm planning to do with the channel. Um, I'm very much hoping to take my camera around this beautiful area that I live in because there are lots of interesting ancient sites that I want to visit. Um, they're all within a very short distance of, of where I live. So I'm going to, in this next month of October, hopefully if the weather isn't too bad, take my camera and film some of the more interesting places. Most of them have um, some sort of mystery attached to them, some um, mythological um, background. For instance, um, one of the places I intend to visit is a place called Ludd's Church, which is a very deep gorge. And at the end, the, in the rock face, there is the face of a giant. Um, it's quite a natural occurring thing, but there is a lot of um, there are lots of fables that um, King Arthur was attached in some way to this area, and there was a fight with the Greek, with a green giant. So I don't know. I, I shall try and find out more about that. Uh, also, um, I intend to visit um, another area called Alderley Edge, where there are lots of um, mythological stories attached to those, to that area. So um, it's quite, quite. I didn't realise, of course, but, but where I live, it's is steeped in in, in um, ancient history. Um, there's a stone circle quite close by. Um, that um, a Stone Age man constructed. Now, why they made that stone circle is, is debatable, but there's certainly some um, feeling that you get when you visit the area, and there are ley lines as well, so you, can, you, you, you do feel a certain force, but it's open to interpretation. Um, also, I want to visit some of the Anglo-Saxon um, um, crosses that are present in another local area. So there's a lot for, for me to do. And basically, I'm going to write musical, um, my, my musical feelings. I'm going to try and create music from each of my visits to these different areas. So rather than the thing being manufactured by some sort of glossy kind of Hollywood approach, I shall be taking more of a down-to-earth approach where I shall actually be visiting sites that have got uh, a lot of mythology uh, attached to them and fables. And, and there's a lot of, um, a lot of um, people believe that there, there is some spiritual attachment to these areas. So we shall see. Um, also, um, I intend to um, make progress on lessons. I've got some, a plan now of, of what I want to do, and I decided the best thing would be to create lessons for complete beginners, um, basically younger, younger people perhaps, um, who might just be starting out learning to play the violin and be interested in the fiddle. So I thought, well, I would try and um, create lessons for, for anyone in that, in that area. And also for anyone who's interested in fiddle playing, Celtic fiddle playing, Irish fiddle playing, Scottish, etc. I thought I would try and create intermediate lessons for, for people in that area. And also try and encourage people to, to read musical notation. So I will be introducing in, very, in, in, um, in stages um, very simple musical notation in, into these lessons to try and, and, um, try and encourage people to, to learn how to read musical notation because it's so, so useful. And anywhere else we decide to go, because I thought, well, if I sort of left it open um, in, say, the community section, I, or even in the comments below the videos, then you could...
could advise me on what you're finding the most useful thing. So, in other words, if um, you're particularly interested in developing scales or playing in a certain key or playing to a certain rhythm or whatever, um, we could perhaps, you could leave comments and we could perhaps take a journey in that direction. So I'm, I'm quite happy to do that because that makes it more interesting for me as well. Um, yeah, so that's that's basically the idea. That's the plan. Um, I've also got some more um, videos I wish to put together about electric violins because I think they are inspiring. I think they are interesting. I know they're not everyone's cup of tea, but um, they're, 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 they're there. They are interesting. They are, uh, you certainly find they are useful if you're playing in a very loud environment. Um, I, I must admit I, I've used electric violins for many years because that's the only way, if you're playing with a drummer and a bass guitar player, it's the only way to get above them basically. Um, so that does interest me and also um, I'm developing this bridge system which I'm quite pleased with. Um, I recorded Nancy's waltz on a violin that I made this simple bridge system and that worked very well so I want to discuss that in a video. So there's a ton of stuff to do and um, you know keep the comments going I hope you're enjoying the channel. I don't really do an awful lot of talking so this is not really something I'm completely comfortable with but I'm, I'm going to get there. And so, uh, yeah, please, please keep subscribing or whatever. And, and I thought I'd just kind of keep, try and keep you up to speed as to what I'm planning to do. All right. Well, I always appreciate your comments. They're always so helpful and so kind. So thank you very much for watching my channel and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye now.